All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of Man Cave Munchies. Now, I know it's only like May 10th, but here in Jacksonville, it's already in the 90s. And when it gets hot, there are two solutions. One, of course, is the recipe I made just before this one, which was guilt-free strawberry ice cream. But there's another way to combat it. And yes, I know, I've got a bottle of beer here. It's gonna go in the recipe, not necessarily in the chef. The other way is to cook spicy food. Today I'm gonna to go south of the border and I'm gonna show you two easy to make yet phenomenal dishes. One's called tamale pie, which is a variation on chili, except instead of using beans, you're gonna be using corn. And the other one is gonna be a corn salad. And as you can see, we've got all the ingredients that you'd normally use for chili, such as a green pepper, onion, some tomato sauce, but we're also gonna be adding in some green olives and we're gonna be using our ground beef. We have a little hot sauce here to spice it up. And of course we've got chili powder and we've got cumin. So stay tuned and I'll take you through both of these recipes. Your taste buds will thank you. We're gonna start off by heating up the pan. And once that gets hot, we're gonna add a little shot of olive oil. And we're gonna start our green peppers and onions to sauteing. That should take about, oh, I'd say a minute, minute and a half, something like that. Once it starts to turn translucent, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our meat. And I'm actually gonna let the two of them cook together so I don't need to get the onions completely done because I don't wanna burn the onions, but I wanna let them start cooking. But as soon as this thing just starts to cook a little bit, then I'm gonna put the meat right in the middle and we'll just cook them all together. Because this is a man cave munch, you wanna keep this as simple as possible. And you can either use beef, pork, or a combination thereof. I happen to be using ground pork myself. Now, like I said, if you ever saw our Boilermaker chili recipe, you'll be pretty familiar with most of the steps involved here. You just wanna start letting your ingredients get nice and sauteed. And then we'll start adding, combining the rest of the ingredients. I'll let the meat brown just a little bit. And this is the top part where I usually start putting on seasoning because I wanna let the season, the oils in the meat and of course the olive oil will all start to wake it up. If you're using anything really spicy, uh, you wanna hold off a little bit because you'll be making homemade tear gas or else. And as I said, the difference between this variation and the one that you normally make chili is that we're gonna be adding corn instead of beans, and we're also gonna be adding some green olives with pimentos. That'll be coming up in just a few seconds. I just wanna let this get a little more cooked. I got about half a bottle of the olives. Again, you know, it's up to you how much you want to add. I usually do it by feel. But the whole point is, is that this is one of the key ingredients, so you don't want to go stingy on these. A little bit more seasoning, chili powder, a little more cumin. I'm gonna add corn. Now I cut this corn up ahead of time. This is two of the five ears. Um, just to let you know, you don't have to use fresh corn. You can use frozen. Please do not use canned corn in this. It just doesn't have the right consistency or flavor. But frozen will work in a pinch. 
I'm just going to keep combining those ingredients. And again, I'm just trying to wait until the meat gets just brown enough. Now we're going to do, once we get this all set up, we're going to close the lid and we're going to let it cook for about maybe 15 minutes on a low fire. Right now I still have the fire up at flame broil levels. This is the part where you add the magic ingredient, beer. Uh, again, I wouldn't use the whole bottle on this, maybe about a half. Because again, we're not trying to make soup. And now I'm also going to add the tomato sauce. I'm going to pour just a little more beer in there to get the last of the sauce up in the can. Add that in. I'm going to turn my burner down to low at this point. I'm going to give it just a couple of hits of hot sauce. Again, you can always adjust this later on. I'm also going to throw in just a little bit of Himalayan salt. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of black pepper, which I've already ground. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid on this bad boy, and I'm going to let it cook for about 30 minutes. You'll understand why we call it tamale pie when I come right back, so stand by. Alright gang, I'm back, and I just want to show you now how to put together the pie. Voila, the, the pie plate. What we're going to do is we're going to take our tamale mixture, which is over here, and we're going to fill this bad boy up. Got any left over? It makes great chili, just to let you know. You need it just to put the bowl, maybe some crackers. Now you may wonder why I've got all this other junk here. Well, some of it's going to be for our next recipe, which is going to be our Mexicali uh, corn salad. But some of these are actually used for this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a crust, because you can't have a pie without a crust. Now, in this case, what we're going to do, and I've actually just used the recipe right off the back of the bag of cornmeal, is we're going to make a corn muffin mixture. All right, and to make a corn muffin mixture, you need a few things. You're going to need some cornmeal, actually a cup of cornmeal. I'm using half of the recipe. Going to use one egg. I'm going to use half a cup of water. And we're going to use a quarter of a cup of milk, or in this case, almond milk. I'm going to use a fork. I'm just going to mix this up until it turns into basically a batter. And when we get done, what we're going to have is a crust on top of this bad boy. Try to get all the mixture out of there that you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to put a, you know, enough on top, and like I said, this will bake right in the oven, and you'll have a nice crust on top, and we'll be seeing that very shortly. Let me introduce you to my little friends. This is Molly Pie, and this is my Mexicali corn salad. Now, if you like these, next week, I'm going to try cooking some Cuban. Hey Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Till then, here's from all of us to all of you at Man Cave Munchies. Now where'd I put that cerveza?